to join the Russians against Ukraine. Martha Raddatz and what she's learned tonight. Tonight, the White House confirming that some 3,000 North Korean soldiers are inside Russia for a possible combat deployment to Ukraine. A highly concerning move the U.S. calls a sign of desperation and weakness. This video circulating online appears to show the North Koreans at a Russian training site. If their intention is to participate in this war on, on uh, Russia's behalf, uh, that is a very, very serious uh, issue. The White House revealing today that it was early to mid-October when the North Korean soldiers traveled by ship from Wonsan, North Korea to Vladivostok, Russia, and then spread to multiple Russian military sites. Vladimir Putin has suffered extraordinary battlefield losses. More than 500,000 soldiers killed or wounded in the war with Ukraine. That he has to farm out the fighting to a foreign country, I think, speaks volumes um, about how much his military is suffering and, and how uncertain he believes, how untenable he believes his, his situation is. The White House saying tonight that given Kim Jong-un's willingness to put skin in the game, the North Korean leader likely expects something in return. David? Yeah, an extraordinary development tonight. Channel 1, you should hear of wars, of rumors of wars. So, uh... A highly concerning move the U.S. calls a sign of desperation and weakness. You should hear of wars and rumors of wars. 3,000 North Korean troops are in Russia. Why? Why? Because the war to end all wars. Um, has already started. Is that it? The war to end all wars has already started. Is that it? This could be says in Revelation. Um, the third war cometh quickly. Right? Revelation 11 or 14, I think it is. The second war is passed. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. Is that it? So, you know, all oh, this is going to happen. It's going to say, what is the signs? Right? The disciple asked, you know, what, what are the signs, right? Let me see something here quick. Um, what should be the sign of they coming? Matthew chapter 24. <clears throat> Signs of Hamashiach's return. Alright. Signs of Hamashiach. That's the Hebrew word for anointed. Return. Alright. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get straight to the point. And verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what should be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jumping down again, because a lot of false um, people are saying they're anointed by who the world called Christ, right? They can deceive a lot of people. Verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That, that we are seeing correct. See, Matthew 24 and verse 6, and you live in translation, and you will hear of wars and threats of war. But don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. So, it's just a warning. You're always giving us the blueprint, you know what I mean? Of um, what to look for on his return, right? 
And this is one here. That's right. She says here the White House has confirmed that some 3,000 North Korean soldiers are inside Russia for a possible, I'm sorry, a possible, um, can I really see it here properly, combat deployment. I'm sorry, combat development to Ukraine, calling the highly concerning move a sign of desperation and weakness. <laughs> Yeah, the U.S. Will, 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 is used words like this. It's in a sign of desperation. This is a sign of war, brother. This is a sign of war. You see? A sign of desperation, of weakness. Stuck <laughs> Russia and then spread to multiple Russian military sites. Vladimir Putin has suffered extraordinary battlefield Woo! losses. More than 500,000 soldiers. Yeah, more than 500. Ooh, Lord, boy. Oh, to be a soldier right now it, it ain't a good thing, boy. To, that's a real thing. To be a soldier right now is not a great... Funny for these uh, uh, these elites here. Yeah, I had a uh, picture on my phone. I still... These jakes in um, the army this year. I don't want to die for Israel. Is that right? <laughs> Uh, cause the, the people are are weak now. They say they know that first and, first and foremost, all wars is bankers' wars. It's a fight for power, control, and resources. You say, you know what I mean? And with um the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, different countries coming together. To form the own currency, it ain't gonna be, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna look good for uh, America, boy. You're losing grip on the losing grip on um, how many controls is right. You got the nations ditching the American dollar, is right. To deal with the own currency, boy. So you know what happened. You whore. It's good to see it. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not scriptures. Uh, there's a scene in the world um, has happened to feel like a woman scorn. <laughs> and if America is the whore, you know how this whore can get on. You see? Right? But yeah, my, this one, I just saw this here. Yeah, put in the chat and send me a quick video on it. You see? Right? All these signs of our Lord's return. You know what I mean? So we, we, we keep in watch. You see? Right? These things got to happen. expects something in return. David? Yeah, an extraordinary development tonight. Tonight, the White House is now confirming that 3,000 North Korean soldiers are now inside Russia, and they're being trained there for possible deployment to join the Russians against Ukraine. Martha Raddatz and what she's learned tonight.